What are four indicators that you are a small parrot person? Hi, I'm Kaylin, the author of The Parapless Bond, but I'm also a novelist, so please be sure to check out the links below for my books. In this video, we are talking about identifying whether or not you are a small parrot person. Now, chances are, if you are looking at a small parrot, you're not trying to plan before you make a big purchase, the way um, financially a big parrot can be thousands of dollars. But some small parrots are expensive, like some of the more rare uh, Conyers and more than that before you purchase and commit to someone walking all over you you want to make sure that you're getting into the right relationship so what are the indicators that you are a small parrot person number one if you are a small bird person then you are the kind of person who wants to invite a parrot into your home to be in your home and share your space with your parent. You're happy to give them a cage, you're happy, happy to give them maybe a play space, but you don't want to feel like they're sharing their space with you and they're allowing you to exist in their space. That's kind of what it's like, especially when you have a really big parent like a macaw. You kind of have to just be grateful when they don't sass you. So, a small bird is probably one that you kind of just want to be able to have an easier relationship with. Number two, you're a small bird person. If you don't want to be buying maybe nuts if they're a nut eater, making chop all the time if you have big parrots, and buying food for your big parrots all the time. It's similar to a small dog versus a large dog. A small dog, you could buy a little bag of dog food and last, you know, depending on the size of the dog, maybe even a month. Whereas a big dog, you get a big bag, you haul it home, and the dog eats it pretty darn quick. The same can really be said of parrots because some parrots can be as small as, I forget how many grams this guy is, my parrot Let's, the second smallest in the citizen species. On average, they're around 30 grams. Whereas my macaws, on average, are around 1,000 grams. So that is quite, a size difference. So a parrot that is a couple inches versus a macaw that takes up half of my body from head to feather. Therefore, the food can really make a difference. You do feel like you're doing more feeding with a larger parrot. With a smaller parrot, it's a lot easier to just sort of integrate into your life. It's not as big of an imposition. Number three, you want more of a friend who might nibble at your ear, but you don't want a monkey with limbs and and a lion's beak with beak and, and feathers. You don't want this monkey lion feather mythological creature that's going to provide endless entertainment, but maybe no rest. I'm kind of kidding, but in other words, some of the bigger parrots can really be a handful, maybe two handfuls. Whereas little ones like this, it's so much easier to just correct them. Big macaw, you can't do that. Even something smaller than a macaw, a smaller macaw or an Amazon, you're still going to have a harder time controlling that beak. So number three, you don't want to become a beak tamer or trainer. Number four, you like having your burb on your shoulder, not having them perhaps constantly go after your earring. And you like the fact that two things don't happen. Your shoulder isn't weighted down. <laughs> Sorry, Ari. This is Ari, my Linny. And number two, you're not left with gash marks from what I call talons, but my mentor corrects and my veterinarian and they say, their nails, because some parrots really have strong feet and those, you know, even when they're 
nails are trimmed down, they can just really grab in. So a small bird, they can be just as good of a companion. They're also extremely intelligent. They're a lot more economical, generally speaking, and you can say they're a lot easier on you. So maybe you don't want to go all out and become the exotic beak tamer. Maybe you just want a great friend that it will kind of be like a new hat or a new hairstyle adornment. And maybe that's the bird for you. <laughs> and those are some signs that you still want your life and you don't want to be imposed upon by a monster macaw kind of thing. Maybe you're just a little parrot person who really appreciates and enjoys their incredible personalities, their intelligence, but you also enjoy being able to effortlessly pick them up and enjoy them and not have to spend the time getting them <laughs> trained and behaving well. Small parrots, I'm not saying that they're super easy and always tame, I'm just saying they can be a lot easier to handle and to clean up after and to pay for and everything else. So there are four signs for you, plus four identifiers, plus the fact that the smaller ones tend to be less money, four things for you, plus a little bonus on identifiers for you as a small parent person. Thank you for joining me in this blissful video. If you have any questions or comments, please be sure to comment below. I love reading the comments and they really help my videos. If you have any questions about parrots, please be sure to comment. I love answering questions and I will catch you next time, especially if you like, subscribe and hit the preferences so that YouTube lets you know when we put out another video, usually tomorrow. Catch you next time.